Discoverers. Today we're going to put together a Discover Robot Furniture Captain Daybed. Um, this is going to be a twin size version, but it also comes in a full size version. The assembly instructions are the exact same. Um, this one's going to be a white finish, and it's going to come in two boxes. One's going to have your headboard and footboard and slats, and one's going to have the bookcase, headboard, and your bed rails in it. When you look at this first bigger box here, it's going to have this red ribbon. That's where you're going to find your hardware kit, so that's where we're going to start. I'm going to unpack everything here, and I'll show you how to get it all out. Once you have the bookcase headboard pulled out of the box, and if you turn it upside down, you're going to notice that the bed rails are tucked in the back of the headboard, and they're supported by these little shipping blocks. All you need is a screwdriver or your drill and remove these shipping blocks to free the bed rails. All right, now I have all the pieces for this bed all um, placed around the room. I have my bed rails, my center support, I have my slack kit, my headboard footboard, and I have my bookcase um, headboard here. Um, inside of the larger box with your bookcase, you're going to see the assembly instructions and the, that hardware kit we talked about. For step number one, all you need to do is take your E's, which are these wooden dowels, and you're going to place them in the end in the center holes on your bed rails and your support here. So you just go right on the end, place them right in the center hole. So I'm going to put those all together and we'll start assembling. Alright, so now we're going to assemble the, the bed rails to our headboard and footboard. So what you want to do is you want to orientate your footboard access door towards the back wall, wherever your headboard is going to be. This way that's in the back. Um, with your pegs, you're going to take the bed rail and you're going to slide it into the hole here. So I'm going to hold it like that for a second. You're going to take your bolts and slide them through the back. And you're going to take your nut and just hand tighten a little bit so it all stays together. And repeat, don't go too tight yet because we don't want to get the footboard in. But we're just going to get it held together here. For the lower support, that's this other piece here, that's part five, and we're going to use screws B, and we're going to use the Allen key that it comes with also. So you're going to do the exact same thing, line up the, the holes, Let's go through. Alright, so we have the back supports set up on one side, we're just going to show you on this side. We have our bolt A, we just slide through, and our nut H, we're just going to go in, like I said, you can hand tighten it a little faster. Once you have that, use your Allen key to tighten the rest of the way. For the bottom support, use B, which has the point on it, so this is just a big screw. You line up your peg and just tighten with your Allen key. Okay, so once I have the back bed rail support set up, I set up the front. And I also put part 8 in here, which is the center support. Um, if you notice the brackets have two holes in here and there's some blue dots painted on the on the bed headboard so you're just going to use the little screws that were given and just line up your holes and secure them okay so step number five is just to put the slack kit in so you're going to line up your slats on top of the bed rails that you just put in You're going to line up the first one right on the edge here. So you're going to line up your first slat on the edge of your support. And you're going to use the longer screws. Go right through your pre-drilled holes to support. So once you have the first slat secured, just spread them out so they're evenly spaced. It should get you all the way to the end of the other um, support system there. And just continue to screw in the pre-drilled holes here. Now we have our slack kit connected. What we're going to do is we're going to put our bookcase headboard on. To get that started, we're just going to take the remainder of our wooden dowels and we're going to place them into the pre drilled holes on both the headboard and footboard so we can prepare to place our bookcase. So we raise the bookcase headboard 
onto those wooden dowels that we already placed and it should sit right in there and we're going to go on the other side and we're going to attach our mending brackets. Okay, so now we're going to use the mending plates that come with the bed here. We're going to attach between the headboard and the base here so it kind of sits so it's flat on both surfaces. We're going to use the remaining screws to screw it in place. Alright, so we have our bed fully assembled. We're just going to add our bouquet um, shelves in. You're just going to use the little pegs that come in your assembly kit. Put them on whatever height you would like. And place your shelves onto the pegs. There should be little grooves that they sit in. Okay, this bed came with a three drawer unit and trundle. Um, the three drawer unit is going to come fully assembled and there's already going to be these mounting screws attached to the side here. So all you need to do is lift it up onto the support rails on the front and back here. Okay, so in order to get to these attachment screws, one of the easiest things to do is remove one of the drawers on the end. So pull it to the end and tilt down and you can pop out the drawer. So now you can easily get to that screw tube. And then when you connect it, make sure your front is lined up to how you like it to so make sure it's connected in the right spot. And then just attach the screw and you can replace your drawer by Okay, so now we have the whole bed put together. We installed the three drawer unit. Now we're going to put together the trundle bed. Um, once again, your hardware kit is the red label here. So we're just going to take it out of the box and we'll get it put together. Okay, so I have all the pieces taken out. Now we're going to take the wooden dowels and we're going to place them in the two holes on each end of our support rail here. We're going to do that on both ends and we're going to start setting up our face plate. So you just connect the two wooden dowels into the front of our face plate. And then we're going to use our bolts to go through and connect. Now we're going to connect using our bolts and our nut here. So we go through the front and connect to our bolt. You can hand tighten and then use your Allen key to tighten the rest of the way. Okay, for the back support we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use our wooden dowels. We're going to connect on both ends. Slide up to connect. Use our bolt and our nut one more time here. Feed it through. You can tighten by hand to get started. And then tighten up with our Allen key. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put the slats on. You're just going to evenly space them out and you're going to screw them in using the screws provided. go around and just screw the rest in. Okay, so we installed the slat kit. Now all we have to do is slide our trundle bed underneath. And we're all done. Thank you very much and have a great day.